My name is Benjamin Kalis. I'm a candidate for City Council on the Upper East Side, but first and foremost, I'm a Wikipedian. I joined in 2006. I mainly edit uh, government-related topics, and uh, one of the things that I started with as soon as I got involved with Wikipedia is I'm also a uh, developer, so I started using MediaWiki. I set up lots of MediaWiki media sites, uh, used them for all sorts of different types of purposes, and uh, really liked what it was doing, so I started wikilaw.org. The concept is that what Wikipedia did for uh, knowledge could also be done for law. Uh, I'm an attorney by trade, and uh, if anyone here, how many people here understand the law and don't need to hire a lawyer when they have problems? <laughs> okay, uh, my understanding is that the New York City uh, chapter actually recently got sued, and luckily some of the board's members are lawyers and were able to make that go away. But that whole concept that we're all prisoners of the law was really scary to me. So um, I, I'm a very open source type person and very community oriented. So I actually uh, gave Wikilaw to Juristpedia. That is a permanent redirect that I've given them. I've been offered obscene amounts of money for the wikilaw.org domain name, but I feel that it's a .org and it belongs in the public domain. Uh, if anyone's interested in, thank you. Uh, if anyone's interested in using the wikilaw.org and in terms of for making the law free and accessible, I'm happy to share it, give it, redirect it, however you like. For now, I've been working with Juristpedia and they're doing an international law project. Uh, one of the reasons Wikilaw didn't really work for me is because the law was still not free and it was very difficult to get it. Uh, so one of the first things I did after that is in 2009, I put all the voting records and all the legislation in New York State online at openlegislation.org. Uh, we made it to 2009 before we knew how our city council members, our assembly members, and our senators voted. I just want that to sit with you for a moment. So you didn't know whether or not the person you elected showed up to work or how they voted. So we did this. Um, I, I just want to take a moment to remember Aaron Swartz because when I did this, I, was, I received similar threats. Uh, they didn't follow through on them. I was very lucky. But um, we shouldn't be in a place where we have to be worried that making information free is going to be dangerous and cause us a life of our liberty. Uh, and I think a lot of what we talk about, people don't understand what free software means or what open source means. They don't understand that it means not free as in beer, but free as in freedom. So, uh, one of the things, the topic of this is wiki.nyc.gov. This is an idea we thought about in 2009, which is this is the nyc.gov uh, website, and it is incredibly 1.0, incredibly <laughs> 1.0. Uh, we, we have 301 up there, but everything is from the government to you. They're not interested in hearing from you. If you want to be heard, you can pick up the phone and dial 311, and then they'll give you a complaint number, and then maybe something happens, but you have to call back in with your complaint number and then they'll say, oh, something has or hasn't ha happened, but it's completely non-transparent. So one of the uh, concepts is uh, why, why can't we do a, an NYC wiki? Why can't we have wiki.nyc.gov? So the concept here is, and it's part of our campaign platform and part of what we'd like to do with the city, is uh, does anyone here understand how government operates? So there's four hands. I'm actually going to take my hand. I'm going to take my hand down because I'm running, but I don't quite understand it. But there's lots of people here who understand small pieces of it. And the same way that Wikipedia allows people with expertise in a small area to do something and share something or fix a typo, uh, I'd like to do that with our city government. So on here, there's all sorts of city services. And if we had a wiki here and people understood it was user generated, if you learned how to get a senior metro card and it wasn't as ex easy as it was on the website, then we could actually go in and explain to each other how to use government. I have less than a minute, so I'm just going to skip to the end, which is uh, part of the result of open legislation is we now have a city council portal with, again, 1.0 legislation. So. What I offer is that we should actually have something where when legislation is up there, you should actually be able to make changes to it. So I have my platform up. Uh, I'm a Drupal developer, so I'm using a Drupal backend. Uh, everything's, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> but uh, this is what I have. What I will offer to you 
Uh, somebody came to me who uses GitHub and said, I want to see your platform on GitHub. I said, do it. It's on GitHub. If anyone here wants to put my platform on a MediaWiki platform or wants to develop a module for Drupal that allows there to be a uh, wiki component, I'm more than happy to do that. I'm happy to wikify my platform. So if anyone wants to do that, thank you, and I'm out of time. <laughs>